Hello everyone and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and in this 2.8 preview video I want to show you the new widgets for moving, rotating and scaling, that is the transform widgets, because all three of them have been improved over 2.79 and at the end I'll also show you how they changed a few of the shortcuts. So let's start by using the move widget. To bring up this menu, I use the space key. And here you might notice that we now have those squares here. And if I click and drag one of those squares, you see it constrains the movement to two axes. So if I click on the red square, it constrains the movement to the Y and the Z axis, which means clicking the red square is the same as hitting G and then Shift X, which is doing the same. And you also get those squares in the scale widget where I can also click one of those squares and get the scaling constraint to two axes. And um, if you come from other packages, you might feel at home right away because those squares are actually pretty standard for transform widgets, no matter what software package you are using. So this might also make um, people who are coming from other programs feel a little bit more at home. The rotate widget also got a few um, things that are a little better than before. For example, if I click here, like I want to rotate around the x-axis, it now visually shows me how much I have rotated already. And when I just click into the middle of the circle, then it goes into tumble mode automatically, which uh, beforehand or which is the same as doing R and then R again. And the white circle is the same as before. It constrains the rotation to the few axes, but also with the indication of how far I have rotated it. So all those changes are actually pretty nice and make a lot of sense and are definitely an improvement. And now here in scale, I also have a completely new widget that is the scale cage. And that's also pretty awesome. What this is doing is it allows me to change the scale with it but I, and I can select the constraint axis and the pivot point. You see, for example, right here, if I clicked on the corner on the top right and it constrains now the scaling to the bottom left corner. It's like um, I'm scaling this out of this corner, which is actually pretty handy. The same if I go here, it does the same thing, but constrained to two axes. And if I click up here, I get the same thing that the pivot point is on the opposite side but I can constrain the scale to just one axis. And the reason why this is actually pretty handy, I can show you right away. Say you're blocking this arch with scene and you want to stay this table to um, have a slightly different scale, but it should stay put in this corner. Beforehand, we would have had to place the um, 3D cursor in the corner, then scale along the cursor and stuff. So pretty tedious, lots of clicks. Now you can just use the scale cage and then click and drag and you see that it's like staying put inside the corner because um, we constrained it to uh, scaling from this corner and this is actually really really handy this new scale cage and um, those of you who have um, watched my last video might wonder uh, when i hit the space bar to bring up my tools that on the bottom, it doesn't read um, this. The button that brings me to the search is gone. And I ca can't do space again to go to the search. So where did the search go? Well, the search is now on the tab key. So if the search is on the tab key now, where did edit mode go? Well, edit mode now can be reached by hitting the two key, like the number two. And um, three is weight paint, four is vertex paint, five is texture paint, six is sculpt, six is sculpting, and one is object mode again, which I think also makes sense. But on the other hand, for me, this tapping in and out of edit mode, it's almost always so convenient. So this is one of those changes where I'm not sure how good it is, but maybe I just need to adapt. And that's what I would like to hear from you guys. Um, Please let me know in the comment, um, what do you think about the new widgets? If you're using other softwares as well, do they make you feel more at home? Do you like the scale cage feature? And what do you think about the changes in the 
shortcuts. And as always, please do try this at home, which means download Blender 2.8 from builder.blender.org. Link is in the description. And if you want to know quite a lot about uh, Blender 2.8, I created a playlist with all my videos on Blender 2.8 link is also in the description it's really awesome how things are changing and how quickly they are changing and watching this change week by week for me it's like seeing my favorite um, open source software packages evolve and mature and i'm seeing this live so i created this video playlist so you can watch this as well so bye and have fun with blender <laughs>